Oh snap! I really did not have my beanie on. That that's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. Oh jeez. What's up, everybody? Glitch Bro Twenty Three here. Yo, we got some more up church today. We got Empty Grave featuring Rizzy Myers. I don't know how this is an unreleased track off the Supernatural album. And then he goes pre-order now. How that makes sense? How that makes sense? That 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 doesn't that doesn't make sense. But anyway, we got Upchurch, Rizzy Myers. I probably should pull up the lyrics re real quick. Hold up. So I pulled up the lyrics now, and it looks like um, Rizzy Myers is just gonna be singing the chorus alongside Upchurch. But if you guys want more Upchurch, be sure to hit that like button right now. Let me know in the comment section what else y'all guys want to see. We got one more reaction coming out after this. But other than that, let's go ahead and just let's just let's just get started. I really enjoyed the last one, the vinyl. He, he looking like a goth boy right now on this cover. Everyone's time's gonna fade away. Dust to dust. Eventually, they said, eventually, uh, by the way, Rizzy Myers' voice on this felt, that that was nice. And then Upchurch following along with it, it kind of felt like, it gave me some, like, NF vibes. But, um, they basically said, everybody's gonna die eventually. But, what I'm leaving behind is my last name. So, which is very true, the, like, very true, it's, like, in some ways it's true. In some ways it's not though, because if it's a daughter and she marries someone else and you know, she's taking their name, but if it's like a son, the name lives on until, you know, until there's no like more males in the family. So, but at the same time, the woman could also not choose to take the last name of her husband, so. One day I'll be in a box. I ain't talking about a grave. I'm talking about a box of greatest hits I made along the way. Mm. Ooh, he said one day I'll be in a box, but not of a grave. A box of the greatest hits. Okay, okay. I'm getting real like NF vibes from this one. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Be in a box. I ain't talking about a grave. I'm talking about a box of greatest hits I made along the way. Found on a dirt road cause I ain't never had shit paved. And when the roots grow back, I'll be a mystery per se. No asking folks in Nashville cause I refuse to go and sign. Walked in houses of legends that made an impact on your life. Taking advice from people who have platinum records with Slim Shady. Went on vacation with country superstars even though I'm crazy. And on a cycle. What? He, he just name dropped M. Which most white rappers are influenced by M. It doesn't surprise me, but I, I just wasn't expecting. Reaper say, no asking folks in Nashville cause I refuse to go and sign. Walked in houses of legends that made an impact on your life. Taking advice from people who have platinum records with Slim Shady. Went on vacation with country superstars even though I'm crazy. And on a Hold up, what is he what is he saying with that one? Where, where is it? Where is it? It's up here. Taking advice from people who have platinum records. No asking folks in Nashville because I refuse to go and sign and walk go and sign walks in houses of legends that made an impact on your life. Taking advice from people who have platinum records with Slim Shady. Went on vacation with country superstars even though I'm crazy. Taking advice from people who have platinum records with Slim Shady. Who is he talking about? Is he just basically saying that he's making he's doing his own thing without he he's being his own like white artist without or he's making hits as a white rapper and he's not even affiliated with Eminem? What is he saying with that? Somebody let me know. 
Records that made an impact on your life. Taking advice from people who have platinum records with Slim Shady. Went on vacation with country superstars, even though I'm crazy. And on a psychosocial roller coaster. No seatbelt doing loops. My mind got a vault like a doomsday prepping Looney Tunes. Stay bouncing off these walls like my house is made of gymnastic mats. And I'll be rapping till I'm 90 out of sh. Bouncing off of these walls like gymnastic mats? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that one before, so I like that. Stay bouncing off these walls like my house is made of gymnastic mats And I'll be rapping till I'm 90 out of shape with cataracts Cause I ain't gotta see a road to cut a trail and make a path I'm 27 and I know this whole city feeling my rap Just wait till I'm 30 and fine tune like a Stratocaster I'm not biodegradable, still the cleanest white trash in them church Okay, so that's probably what he was saying with the Eminem bar And then the country bar too Basically saying that he's still gonna be making he, he's his own artist. Like, don't compare him to Eminem. Don't compare him to other country rappers. Because he's gonna be he's gonna be here as long as he can. And make his own type of hits. So, okay. I'm, I'm not lying though. He is really sounding like M NF on this one. NF. So. Just, just a little iron. Just, uh, just you know, comprehending yourself right there with that Slim Shady bar. Time's gonna fade away. Dust to dust. And amazing grace. Only thing I'm leaving is my last name. Oh, in an empty grave. Most people in denial about the timeline of life. The burning of a flame, one goes out, then one comes up and strikes. I stepped into the shallow water. Most people are in denial about the timeline of life. So basically, basically with that one, he's saying people think they have everything planned out. Then life really does hit them. And you're, 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 it, it just completely screws up. In an empty grave. Most people in denial about the timeline of life The burning of a flame, one goes out, then one comes up and strikes I stepped into the shallow water, knowing one day I'll drown To the noise of screaming voices and Instagram shut of sounds Right now for me, it's just now, starting to get kind of He said, I knew, I knew, basically, I knew what to expect I was gonna expect criticism right there He said, Instagram or people just shutting him down, talking crazy on his Instagram Social media is a dangerous place, artists. Don't don't take it too personally. But it is great fuel for you guys, cause then y'all come back with like most of the time, artists come back with amazing albums. The noise of screaming voices in Instagram shut of sounds. Right now for me it's just now starting to get kinda loud. I'm getting pointed out at most from a couple surrounding crowds. People threaten to jump me and wanna show up to my house. You're creating a crazy person with loaded guns in his house. And every day that passes, I'm becoming more intelligent to social negligence. No matter what the cadence is, all I see is some adjectives. I'm drastically painting you cinema. Doesn't matter what the cadence is, all I see is adjectives. And then he was like now I'm, I'm really starting to get criticism. I'm really starting to get it now. And people are threatening me. They're threatening to walk into my house, you know, beat them up. But then you're just you're just walking into my house. I got nothing but guns. What she if he's not southern as he says, like as your guys say he is, he probably have a shotgun right underneath his couch. It's some adjectives. I'm drastically painting you cinematic action bits with words I scrambled off every part of the alphabet. How good or can I get? I think the game is hibernating or overdose to manufacture. I know he did not just say gooder. I know he did not just say gooder. <laughs> Please tell me he did not just say gooder. Off every part of the alphabet. How good or can I get? I think the game is hibernating or overdosed on manufacture faces and sound waves. So won't you put me in that box and put my voice in one that's separate? One's a death. He said the game was basically hibernating, you know, sleeping on him, you know? And then he's like, What more can I do to impress you? What more can I do to be different? Right there. Alright. Box to others gonna be a living statement and they know it. Everyone's time's gonna fade away. Dust to dust. 
Dang it, I was just about to say, I really like the fact that he hasn't turned up the beat yet. I was literally just about to say that. Because this beat was like, like he was being really serious with it. You know? And then he, uh, I'm probably going to regret that. I probably will end up eventually liking this third verse now that the beats like turn up more. But I, I, I was really liking that he wasn't turning up the beat yet. I really was. Knock knock, who's there? It's the end of your career Yeah, what's up you motherfucker? Been waiting to see you here I've been dying to meet you And that's really no pun intended I met every goal I wanted made <sighs> He says, I've been dying to meet you And that's really no pun intended So it sounds like maybe death is talking to him now Or just at the end of the career Is really talking, like Metaphorically talking to him, you know? Knock knock, who's there? It's the end of your career. Yeah, what's up, you switch. motherfucker? Been waiting to see you here. I've been dying to meet you, and that's really no pun intended. I met every goal I wanted, made the impact for my people, and held them southern roots before every song that I made. And got invited to show up in a Tennessee year maze. But my ass never went. I went ghost when they called me to that stage. Cause I don't need people to clap to make me proud of my name, to make me proud of my songs, to make me proud of my lyrics. I was he said, I don't need. He said, I'm, I'm proud of the music that I made. And that's really all that matters. You know, I don't care about what anybody has to say about me. Like, if, I, if I'm happy about the music I made, that's all that matters, you know? I really like what he's doing with this verse now, though. Which I knew I probably would as soon as the beat turned up. And it's not even a big turn up, so I can appreciate that. People that clap to make me proud of my name, to make me proud of my songs, to make me proud of my lyrics. I was built out of southern spirit, only found in the thicket. My bloodline the thickest, fuck all the fame and the riches. That shit all fades away, but not the voice of a legend who's preaching. And that's why they call me church. Cross my heart, hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. You have to do it three times, even. That's why they call me church, cause I was my heart was willing to die. How did, how did he word that? How did he word that? Fame and the riches, that shit all fades away, but not the voice of a legend who's preaching. And that's why they call me church. Cross my heart, hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. You have to do it. That's why they call me church, cause my heart hopes to die. Stick a needle in my eye. I really I really I'm really messing with it. And then the flow the flow switch that he did just then too. Cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. You have to do it three times, even almost make me blind. Cause my third one don't even blink, so I see you before. When you try coming for me, church Everyone's time's gone Had to stab on the eye three times Cause my third one didn't even see when you're coming for me, you know This one was a solid track too This one was very solid Oh snap Fade away Dust to dust And amazing grace Only thing I'm leaving with that one too I'm glad y'all I'm, I'm glad like y'all guys are giving me a second chance with this honestly because the last two tracks I really have heard have been a lot they've just been a lot better to me in my opinion it was a lot better you know so cause he, he cause there was ang there was anger on this one but there was also a lot of heartfelt emotion on this one and then the vinyl was just in my opinion an incredible track like that one was just so like catchy and like old like so like old school, you know? And I'm I think y'all guys can tell I'm more of like an older like hip hop fan even though I'm pretty young. You know. Or just like mu music fan I guess in general cuz I do listen to like a lot more older stuff than newer stuff. But anyway, that one was a nice one. We got one more up church reaction coming out later today, so if y'all guys want more let me know in the comment section right now. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what y'all think about this. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this one. This one I'm really start. I'm, I'm really messing with Upchurch now, you know. But like, I, like, like 
I like this and I don't like this part. He really did have like NF vibes on this one. Like even the beat turn up at the end, it wasn't like NF's like where it's just for some reason crazy. But it was a little bit of a turn up. So But yeah. Uh I really enjoyed this one. I really did. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.